O Muslim, O slave of Allah. Guess what I discovered? ISIS is actually going by the Hadith in their killing of gay guys. And from my study of the Hadith, you as a Muslim are to kill gay guys. Uh, if you don't believe me, check this, check this out here. This is from, uh, from uh, Sunnah.com, which uh, has all the Sahih Hadiths. You know, it doesn't have any weak or fabricated Daif hadiths. It has uh, Sahih and uh, Hassan, uh, which uh, Hassan, well, Sahih means authentic or sound, and uh, and uh, Hassan means good. And these hadiths about where you're supposed to kill gay guys, those are Hassan. Couldn't find any Sahih, but they're Hassan, that, and that means good. So you know, now you'll know why ISIS is killing, dropping gay guys off of roofs and stuff like that. This, this is what I discovered here. This is what I discovered here. Okay, uh, this is uh, Sunda.com. Here's the Arabic, you know, and, and here's the thing here. It says, uh, uh, Jenny Altamidi, the book on legal punishment, al Hadid, narrated a Jabir, that the Messenger of Allah saw, said, What I fear most from my Ummah is the behavior of the people of Lut. Uh, you know, in other words, you know, Muhammad was a huge homophobe. You know, I mean, if you think if you think Christians are homophobic, man, you know, with a you know being anti-gay marriage and not wanting them to you know adopt little boys to have sex with, you ain't seen nothing yet. You know, because Muhammad feared uh, his ummah, his his nation, because you'll find out later on here. In other words, Muslims uh, becoming gay. You know. I, you know, if, if Muhammad were living our time, his probably his biggest nightmare since it's the most he fears. What does it say again? It says here, um, the Muslim said, "What I fear most from my Ummah is the behavior of the people of Lot. The people of Lot are the people of Lot or Sodomites. In other words, the people of Lot is code for gay guys in Islam. You know what I mean? And the thing that Muhammad feared most is." Muslim men, I guess, becoming gay. And I think the reason why is because Muhammad uh, wanted to, to, to multiply himself. There's this hadith where uh, uh, a guy has this really cute girl, you know, he's really attracted to her, but she can't have, she can't have children. So Muhammad told her, him to drop her and go for another woman who was not as attractive, but who could have kids. And the reason why is, he said, so I can multiply myself, you see. And, and I think that's why so many Muslims call their uh, kid Muhammad, because it, it's like they're multiplying Muhammad, you know. But, you know, that's, this is, but now I'll tell you why you, O Muslim, are to kill gay guys here. Because it, it goes on here. It says here. All right. And another one here. Go down a little bit here. Uh, oh, yeah. This is... Okay. I don't know what... Seems to me. That's Anyway. This is from uh, uh, Jami al-Tamidi, the book on legal punishment. Uh, narrated by Ibn Abbas. Uh, that the messenger of Allah saw, uh, said... Saw, said who, whomever you find doing the actions of the people of Lut, in other words, you know, I guess, you know, having gay sex or something like that. Um, uh, yeah. Whomever you find doing the actions of the people of Lut, then kill the one doing it and the one who, the one it is done to. And that's one of the Hadiths. And there's another one. I'll see if I can find another one here. Oh, oh, here's another one. Uh, Sunan Ibn Majah, the chapters on legal punishment. Here's the Arabic, yeah, yeah. Here's the Arabic, in case you understand Arabic, yeah. Yeah, yeah, Arabic. It says here, um, Sunan Ibn Majah, the, the chapters on legal punishment. It was narrated from Abu Huraira that the Prophet saw, said, concerning those who do the action of the people of Lut, I mean, uh, sodomites, gay guys, in other words, um, the, the the actions of the people of Lut stone the upper and the lower. I mean, stone the stone the gay guy on top and the go, gay guy on the bottom. Stone them both. You know, yeah. ISIS isn't stoning gay guys as far as I know, but they are dropping them off buildings. You know, so they're kind of like using gravity to make the earth become like a big stone that you know bashes them when they, when they fall. Because you know? it's like when you're falling, it's like the earth is coming up. So, in other words. You know, 
It's kind of like stoning a gay guy by dropping him off a building, which they do. So, you know, that, that, that's, that, that's there. And then another one is, oh, here it's, oh, hey, Sunan Ibn Majah, Chapters on Legal Punishment. Uh, it was narrated from Jabir bin Abdullah that the Messenger of Allah saw said, and here's the Arabic here, uh, the, it the thing that I most fear for my nation, yeah, for Muslims, for my nation is the action of the people of Lut. Really, if you thought Christians were homophobic, man, you ain't seen nothing yet when it comes to Islam, you know? Because, you, know, you know, Christians might look down on you for, you know, getting up the patootie, but a, a Muslim is to kill you if you're gay, you know? So, you, oh Muslim, uh, it, it, there's, more than, uh, there's more than that, you know, about uh, killing uh, the people of Lut, which is code, again, for the gay guys, you know? But you know something? If I was a Muslim, I read this. Uh, I would really want to make sure that uh, Muhammad was the true prophet before I put this into uh, effect. And the best way I can think of that would be to eat seven ajwa dates in the morning, then take a spoonful of Sinai. Because Muhammad also said that if you eat seven ajwa dates in the morning, you'll be protected all day from both magic and poison. You know what I mean? So if you if you don't die after eating that sunlight, hey, you know. Of course, you know, um, Rasputin uh, didn't eat Ajwa dates and yet he took some cyanide, didn't kill him. And Muhammad also said things like uh, that uh, uh, the, the, the Quran uh, confirms the before scriptures, which is the Bible, and all Muslims believe the Bible to be corrupted. And Muhammad also said that the earth is spread out on the back of a giant fish called Nun that's agitated and would destroy the earth if Muhammad, if Allah didn't uh, cast down mountains as pegs to hold the earth down as stabilizers, you know. Uh, doesn't say that in the Quran about the earth, about the earth being on, on a giant fish, it just says the pin and, the, and Nun, which is the fish. And, but does mention about how the earth is spread out like a carpet and has mountains placed down or, or, or cast down, take a pick, on the earth as stabilizers. And Muhammad also uh, said that uh, after you are blood for, for 40 days, then you become a blood clot as an embryo for 40 days, and you become a morsel of flesh for 40 days, and then after that, uh, then the, this angel comes with special instructions letting you know someday whether or not you'll be in heaven or hell, you know. So, uh, anyway, those are things you might want to consider, thinking, hmm. And Muhammad also said that he took a flying donkey-like creature flight from uh, Jerusalem to, uh, uh, from, from, uh, from Mecca to uh, Jerusalem in one night, called a journey by night, uh, to visit two structures in Jerusalem, the Al-Aqsa Mosque and the Temple of Solomon. And guess what? The Temple of Solomon and the Al-Aqsa Mosque never existed in the time of Muhammad, nor did they ever exist together in history, period. And then Muhammad says he then took the this thing that had the head of a human and the tail of a peacock up into uh, heaven and listened to Moses, or as it called, Musa, uh, uh, to talk all it down from 50 prayers a day to the current five. You know, uh, uh, in other words, uh, Musa or Moses uh, quote Jude all it down. You know, from from 50 prayers a day to the current five. I know that sounds anti-Semitic, but, you know, I've heard, you know, Muslims use that too. So, anyway, so, again, oh, Muslim, the greatest homophobe was Muhammad, and he wants you, according to Hassan Hadith, he wants you to kill gay guys. I guess that's why ISIS is dropping them off buildings, you know, and Boko Haram is killing uh, gay guys in Nigeria. But, 